Have you ever wanted to go to Paris? Have you thought of and extend your stay as part of your cruise vacation? With so many places to go, why Paris? Well, let's see if this could be a place for you. Let's get started. I deliver helpful cruise tips and inspiration for your future cruise travel. Hi and welcome back to my channel. I'm Bonnie. For those of you new here, nice to meet you. I'm Olivia. And there's Livy. We are on an Extend Your Cruise. She wasn't on the cruise part of it. We met here in Paris to have a week together right around Mother's Day. So. I found myself in Paris after an unforgettable transatlantic cruise on Royal Caribbean's Wonder of the Seas. My daughter and I are on a week of exploring the beautiful, often misunderstood city. Paris is romantic, it's beautiful, it's huge, but it's totally a city that takes time to get to know. This is my second time back. The first was just before the pandemic. I'm happy to report things are in full swing here and the tourism is definitely picking up. We are staying in the Latin Quarter, Hotel Alba, a great hotel in a perfect area. There are all kinds of restaurants and creperies nearby. Four euros. There are crepe stands all over the place and we found this park near where we're staying. It is reasonably priced and near a metro stop. It's perfect for us. Let's take a look. hotel room. It's really cute. There's a corner room. Nice and breezy here. It's beautiful. That's the name of the hotel, and that's our room that we're on. And then the river is right there. But we're really near Notre Dame. Super easy near a metro. It's got lots of places to eat, lots of creperies, and all kinds of food here. Anything you're looking for. It's in the Latin Quarter, and this stop is the Notre Dame stop, Notre Dame Saint Michel stop. garden here. What I'm doing now is I'm having a crepe, a sugar crepe with, with um, cinnamon and lemon and it's two euros so it's a really reasonable thing. There's lots of creperies on the streets. It's such a pretty place here. I'm really enjoying my time in Paris. Last night we had a really nice Paris by night big bus experience and if you have a chance you should do that. Book it in advance online. It is really worth it because they stop at the Eiffel Tower and you have a premium location. You don't have to stand in the crowds with all the other people on the ground. You're up a, up a couple levels because you're in a double-decker bus. And it was a really nice tour. It's everything we've seen, but it's by night, so it's beautiful. What a gorgeous city. It's like, I can't say enough. Um, it takes a, little, a few times to get used to, but I would really uh, recommend it. I think it's a great place to come after a cruise because it's um, so much to do and see and actually May is the perfect time. It's not too busy as far as tourism. You know, there's people here, but it's not to where it's gonna ruin anything. So it's a perfect, perfect place to come. We were here for a week, which is a long time, but like I say, if you divvy up the city and kind of tackle it a little bit at a time it's it's manageable and their metro system is really easy to use if you haven't already done so please make sure you hit that like button and also consider subscribing so that you get to find out all kinds of interesting tips for your cruise holiday cruise or not come to paris i mean i feel like i don't even have to explain that you just should go um and like, comment, subscribe because my mom really cares about that. And she <laughs> tells me every sing about any time that she gets a new subscriber. So. After a visit to the Luxembourg Gardens, we decide that we are going to be on our way to shopping to the La Galleria Lafayette. We're on a mission to find Olivia some sunglasses. Olivia with her purchase she can't figure out what she wants those are nice too this one or this one those are the winners we think Celine is what she's leaning for
This is the tax-free section. You need to come here after you buy any purchase over $100. Then you get some duty-free tax back. So that's why so many people buy Louis Vuitton and, and Dior and whatever other brands that are, that are here in France. Up, that's the reveal. Such an interesting neighborhood. A lot happening here at the Metro in the Galleria's Lafayette. Shopping was incredibly fun, but we're starving and we're looking for somewhere to go to eat. We find an excellent Italian restaurant. Found a pizza place and there are our, I don't even know, on our walk. This is our menu. Are these individual pizzas? Yeah. So here is our yummy, lovely salad and pizzas. We split a pizza and we have two salads. And of course our water. We are just living. The San Michel area is always bustling with people out and just sitting out and watching people and having a drink. It's just a fun place to just people watch. Before I go any further, I just wanted to mention that when we came to Paris, we purchased a train pass. This was purchased downstairs at the metro station. You have to buy it there. You cannot buy it in the machine. A pretty good price. It, the Navigo card itself is five euros and then it is non-refundable. So you can use this up to 10 years. So don't throw away the card. You can use it over and over because you're basically just loading money on a ticket. But a day ticket for zones 1 to 2, which is Central Paris, costs about 750 a euro. Or for 10, you can go to zones 1 to 3. But the actual weekly ticket was 2280 for all five zones. And five zones are important to know because the fifth zone is the airport. If you're going to Versailles, you want to go way out, it'll be in the very further parts of zone five. So even if you only stay in Paris for four days, the Navigo ticket may be less expensive for you than the five-day Paris Visite uh, ticket, which is 3835. Where shall we go today? Check out my videos on the Paris by Night and the Christian Dior and the Corette Cafe. Those were really fun to visit. But this time we want to do something we didn't do on our first trip. By the way, I have videos on Paris, Monet's Garden, Palace of Versailles in my Paris playlist. So those could be helpful to you as well. But today we are visiting Sacré-Cœur. So let's go. We're going here by Metro. We ended up taking a stop and, and walking the back way up a bunch of stairs. Sacre Coeur sits atop the hill of Montmartre. The inside Roman Byzantine style and the very uh, ceiling itself is a gigantic mosaic and it is the largest in France. It is very beautiful and it's quite a view. And that is the Montmartre district, which is an, actually an artist village, once inhabited by Picasso and Dali. It's home to many former artists, and it is a beautiful area with just a lot of winding streets, it's steep, and you will notice that it is very white and shiny and it stays that way because the type of stone it is, when it rains, it gets whiter. So it's a real standout and it shines all over the entire capital. The Moulin Cabaret and bars and nightclubs are at the very bottom of this area. Yes. I'm so happy I got these earrings. I love my jewelry and I was thinking about getting some sort of costume jewelry of some sort here. I wanted to look at vintage shops and we went down this street, I think it's called like, but it's like around the St. Paul area of the metro stop and um, we went into this one vintage store and the guy was so nice, it was like his first three months and then I was like, I'm looking for some costume jewelry. Oh, okay, go to my friend next door, she has everything. 
we just sat down with all these different drawers and looked at the clip on earrings and things. I ended up getting these earrings that are just like, they're not clip on, but they're just normal clothes. And I really like that. Yeah, it's got some it's pearl, nice. like little pearl clip on ones too. And so now I'm accessorized out. I got my glasses that I got like two days ago, and I have my little hoops. What's next? Hopefully nothing. I'm gonna <laughs> run out of money if I keep spending it. It's very special. It has its own story, you know? Yeah, for sure. Very nice. Yeah. Oh, it was really fun to walk on this shop. I think it was near the Plaza de Roche. It's near Hugo, the Hugo house. Yeah, but there's a lot of different antique stores and they specialize in certain things. I'm not sure what this store was called, but it's only costume jewelry. And it was really fun to kind of go through that. And the lady does not speak English, but it was very pleasant and gave me a little bit of a rundown on this Roloche. So he's, I guess, a known person here in, in France. So that's a fun little souvenir to take home. But that's what it's all about, going, walking around and looking. I mean, you just run into so much here. It's really hard to even say what to do. But it's it's just good to get out and walk. Because in the metro, if you only take metros, you're not going to find these kinds of things. But it's been a great day, and we're taking a little rest. And then we're heading out for our evening adventure. We have this um, some type of mushroom truffle sauce to pasta. We have our bread, and I have a carbonara pasta dough with eggplant. It looks delicious. Bon appetit. We have our Dolomia sparkling water from Dolomites. They're like Strong women. Ladies from all yeah, ladies. The museum. We're walking in line C because we have a reservation. So book online, you'll save yourself it's some entrance. time. The entrance. You've got your gift shops on the other side. I remember I bought prints here. Fun fact: This museum is actually in an old, old train station. It has collections from 1848 to 1914. It's a pretty restaurant. It's on the second floor. We just arrived at our three o'clock appointment, but we couldn't pass this up. It's tea time. It's three floors. It was inaugurated by the French president, Francois Mitterrand, in December 1986, and it's on the left bank of the Seine. It's right near the uh, Tuileries Gardens. It's opposite that. You would probably not enjoy this too much if you were not interested in art and paintings. Another restaurant here on the fifth floor. They have the huge clock from the railway station and working and it is hanging in this museum. The tea room. We are at, yeah, I don't couldn't tell you where it is, it's in like a, a cut through from one street to another. They have all kinds of different items here. So we're at the Diet Coke stopping for the day. We didn't do any too crazy of purchases today, but we just walked a lot. We saw a lot. I got my ballerina prints. Oh yeah. And a little ballerina, a, a ballet slipper keychain. Yeah, from the. It's like they knew I was coming. <laughs> Start on level five because that's where the impressionist stuff is. All the, the famous pictures that you've seen before, the Renoir and the Monet. The lower levels are more sculptures and that type of thing. And then the, the cute restaurant is on floor two, and there's another cute restaurant on floor five. Um, it's post-impressionism and impressionism, all on five. 
five and six? Five. five. Just five. Yeah, and that's about all we could take in for one day. Because the, was it Dega? I think it was the ballerinas. And they also had a garden um, exhibit. So it was really nice. It was fun. Not too crowded because I'm in May, so it's it's a, it's a good time to come to Paris. Olivia has a yummy salad that has warm goat cheese. And I have a, I don't know what it is, it's some type of a side croquet monsieur, which looks to me like grilled cheese sandwich, salad, and fries. And it's like, a, it's under appetizers, but it's like a mini meal, but perfect for me. On the Seine River, taking a stroll around. It's evening time. Come join us next week as we explore the Louvre and the catacombs and some more of Paris. Thank you so much for watching and until next time.